Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Live Music's Live Wire. I'm Bob Sanchez, your host, and I have to tell you tonight, I'm absolutely overjoyed. We have with us someone who I've known since he was a child, one of the most popular musicians in this area, Mr. Chris LeBlanc, and his musician friends that have come with him that are really going to knock you out when you have a chance to hear him later. So, Chris, good evening. Thank you so much. This is Chris LeBlanc. We have Mike Frederick, and we have Chris Roberts back here. All right, so let's start back in the beginning. I've okay. known this guy since he was a child. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, he's been doing music as far as I can remember back. So tell us a little bit, Chris. Tell us the background. Yeah, man. Well, I, I started playing really young and uh, making my way over this way. I, I grew up not far from uh, where we are right now, and I would come to the music stores all the time. And Bob has been a long time, you know, you've been a long time friend and always supported uh, not just me, but the whole, you know, Baton Rouge and Louisiana music community, man. You're a real... Uh, support system for a lot of people and anytime when I was younger I, I, I'd had questions about this or that Bob you know uh, always helped me out you know and uh, but you know over the years of going out and playing shows and uh, I got to you know get into the clubs when I was younger and going and playing and doing it my family's musicians you know so uh, and then all these years later I'm just glad to still be doing it you know well, Chris, besides being popular here, his sphere of influence has gone out as far as Colorado, Florida, Alabama, yeah, Mississippi too, I believe. Yeah, I got. Where to else do, all have you gone? Man, I got to do a bunch of traveling over the years. Unfortunately, I didn't do much traveling the last few months. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody's doing much of anything these last few months, in spite of COVID. So, yeah. with that going on, where are you guys having a chance to do some of your playing? Well, we're getting able to go. You know. Um, it's been kind of cool to be able to go out and play some private parties and private things that people want to support. And, um, you know, right now I think like the music is, people need it so much more. And, um, and so people are making their way to it and they're gonna have it, whether it's a private party at their house or we played a bunch of people swimming pools, <laughs> you know, and they were cool. I'm talking million dollar joints, you know, but, uh, you know, just, it's been a cool thing. Um, you know, these last little bit, but before, you know, we were doing a lot of festivals. We'd go out and play the clubs. We'd go out and play, um, doing the casino things that are happening on the coast. Mm -hmm. Those are always fun. Um, go and play and stuff that's, you know, where people are out. And I, I truly believe here coming up in the next, you know, however many months or a little while, things are going to start popping out again. You know? Well, we hope so. We certainly hope because the... Yeah. As every governors all over the country are going for phase one, phase two, phase three, which limits a lot of the live music applications because you have restaurants and uh, the clubs are being forced to close down or close early. Yeah. They can't always afford to pay a band as well. So I'm glad you're picking up the private gigs, yeah. especially the million dollar pool parties. That's got to be a Those have been whole pretty excitement cool. in and of itself. Okay, they that really sounds are, like a lot man. of fun. Now, uh, the other guys we have with us, let's start with uh, Mike Fredericks over here, accordion player, and he's got his own Zydeco band, right? I uh, used to. It's um, it's it's not in uh, motion much no more, but okay. I play a lot with Chris, you know. Well, it's not a whole lot in motion, but I'm glad you're playing with <laughs> yeah. Chris. Oh, yeah. We have a very unique sound where you're blending kind of Cajun French uh, sound textures along with blues and rock, yeah. which is a wonderful thing here. And then we have Chris Roberts back here. Our resident Jamaican man. Yes, I'm indeed. telling you, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now you have, you, you play all over town, not only with Chris, but you have your own group you play with as yes, well. Yes, indeed. All right. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, you know, like any kid that grew up in Baton Rouge and wanted to dig live music, I was at Chris LeBlanc shows when I'm mm -hmm. 10 years old and yeah. digging it. So, um, yeah, it's been really cool over the years to play with uh, play with my brothers mm -hmm. and yeah. It's more than a uh, it's more than a job, you know. It's a it's a family. It's a thing that we and all do. It feels natural. Right and that's on. a wonderful thing about musicians and musicianship that you have, which is kind of unique in in all forms of togetherness, you know. It really because is. with music, there is a bond that is uh, something that people that don't play music and they love music, and that's a wonderful thing. But uh, when you do play and you can have that chemistry click, it's kind of a magic, 
and sure, uh, when you can yeah. put that out to the audience and they yeah. feel that magic too yes yeah. something, something that feels that, natural you know yeah. it's, it's, it's it's like breathing and when you and, meet the right ones yeah. you're like oh they're yeah. one of us <laughs> there's a click yeah, yeah and it's not to be in a click but it's the way things click together yeah and uh when you guys got a chance to hear them perform later on you're going to understand exactly what I'm talking about because it's something that just feels so good and feels so right. Right on. Now, right on, man. Thank you've you. got some uh, CDs out. So tell us a little bit about that and yeah. where they can be heard. And uh... Okay, cool. Well, um, you know, over the years I recorded, uh, I put out my first record back in uh, 95. And, uh, wow, it seems so many years ago. but It was. <laughs> it, it was. Now, yeah. <laughs> That was the year Chris was born. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't mention the gray hairs, I believe. Yeah, That's right. Okay. You know, but um, and so uh, but I put that record out there, and then I got a, uh, I got another record out that I put out in '98, and then I put out an acoustic record in uh, '01, and then '06 I put out a record called um, Starshine. and then um, I took a little pause from you know I was busy being a husband and a dad a lot, I um. I was I was maybe uh, pretty unselfish with my time, um, you know. To to create music and to take time to do that is to you got to be selfish enough to this is what I'm gonna do, and so um, I took a different path. I actually got to work on a bunch of different records and other things, but I didn't record my own records in that time. I was uh, I was still playing. Over 200 shows a year, which that's unselfishness. Pretty exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of gigs. I mean, you know, um, it turns into, you know, a decade is, you call it, over 2,000 gigs in 10 years. I mean, that's a lot yeah, of work. That is a lot of work. It's a lot of work, man, and I've done it, you know. And, and you've um, been able to do that because you're good at what you do. Well, thank you. You know, and that's something <laughs> that uh, I think you're all going to get a chance to see. Now, what you have, you have a Facebook page, is that right? I do. I have uh, The Chris LeBlanc Band is on Facebook, and then uh, Chris LeBlanc Band on Instagram. And, um, you know, if you like The Chris LeBlanc Band, uh, then you'll get the schedules of where we're at and what's going on. You can see videos, and you can see, um, you know, pictures, and just kind of information about what's happening with the band. Mm -hmm. Also, um, I have... Two of these records, what I did during this time of COVID was um, I thought it would be a great idea to kind of re-release some of my music into the streaming network. So um, so we took the last record that I put out, Starshine, which is a 13-track CD. Uh, seven of those tracks are studio tracks, and then six of them are live tracks. We put that out. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes. Um, it's on YouTube, it's all over, all streaming, and, um, and so that's out there, and then another record that I have out called Talent Show is out on those streaming networks as well. And then I will be releasing previous records that I put out, um, and then also new material is going to be coming pretty soon. I'm going to start putting out that I'm going to start dropping new songs just because, you know, I think it's like a idea. I think nowadays um, people don't buy CDs. Um, and so um, I just want, I know that, you know, the masses will get it through streaming music. You know? Great. Well, you've heard it here. Spotify, Instagram, these are places that you get a chance to uh, experience a lot of Chris LeBlanc's music. Also, you want to go to The Chris LeBlanc Band at Facebook. Yeah. All right. And like the page. Like it. If you look up his music on YouTube, subscribe to the page, which reminds me, we want y'all to go to Baton Rouge's live music on YouTube and subscribe. Also, Baton Rouge live music on Facebook. We're there to, to bring you material like this yeah. of all kinds. So we want y'all to come see us as much as we want y'all to come see them. So we're going to take a break. We're going to get a chance to hear these guys play. So you're in for a treat, folks. We'll be right back. Thanks. I was born in Louisiana on Bayou Man Shack. Papa was a trapper from the Poyaville. 
Kansas City Used to go to dances I met a lot of people, I made a lot of friends And the feeling of the swamp is in my blood Coming back home and I don't know when They say California's falling, Detroit's burning There's a whole lot of trouble Chicago town, in my time up in New York City, Mississippi, take me back to hallowed ground. Oh my, my you country, smell the magnolia bringing to your knees. They know those and Cajun women, Spanish falls singing. Thank you guys so much. I want you to all thank the Chris LeBlanc band. We have Chris LeBlanc, Mike Frederick, Chris Roberts here. I know you loved it. You need to gonna go to see thechrisleblancband.com on Facebook. Check him out on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to Baton Rouge's Live Music on YouTube and check us out on Facebook too. Thank y'all for watching. All right.
away all the blues. Have you heard? 